Hi, it's Marv from Training Spark, and in this video, we're taking a look at what's new in version 4.6 of LearnDash. So I'm on the release notes page here for LearnDash, which is at learndash.com forward slash release hyphen notes. And what we can see here is that there's a new feature, Course Outline AI Module. So there's one feature and a, you know, a few bug fixes, which we won't go into, but what I'm keen to take a look at is this new course outline AI module. So let's have a look. Let's go to our LearnDash platform here. We've got our usual sandbox here, which is just a uh, sort of default site here. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is head to LearnDash LMS and then courses. And once you've upgraded to version 4.6 of LearnDash, what you will find is this new create course outline from AI option uh, at the top. So let's go ahead and cl click on that. Now what this does is it works with ChatGPT, which you've probably heard of. We've done some videos separately on this. And uh, yeah, this is an AI tool that is um, able to do all sorts of things in terms of generating content and language and things like that. So what learners are doing here is giving a means of yeah, sort of building the structure of a course based on feedback from ChatGPT. So in order to do, to use this, what we need is an open AI API key. And you can set one of these up um, and it does ask you to put in a credit card to do this because beyond a, a sort of trial period, there is a charge for using this service, but um, you can, um, uh, as far as I understand, um, and you know, certainly recently, uh, set up a, a trial account where you get a certain number of free credits. I think it's like $16 or something of, of free tokens that you can use and uh, test this out with. So what you would do, you can click on this um, tooltip icon here and then click here to get your API key. And what it will, if you haven't already created an account, it will you know, ask you to create an account and sign in. But basically, you'll end up on a page like this where you can create API keys. And you can create API keys for uh, various different projects that you use OpenAI with. So we'll go ahead and create a new secret key here. And I'll call this something like uh, Learn-Test. I'll probably delete this at the end of this video. So... Um, I wouldn't bother trying to copy this or anything. Um, so I'm just going to copy that key that gets generated there. And we can see that it you know, appears in this list. And all I'm going to do is paste that into here and click Save. So that says Setting Save Now. And so it saved my API key there. So what I'm going to do now is head back here and hopefully now I can click into this and use this course outline from AI. So let's build our course. We can choose what the course title is, how many lessons, and then we can describe what we want our course to be about. So in the sort of spirit of the sandbox course here, um, what I'll probably do is, I think this is like a, a default theme based on, on yoga and, and health. So um, let's use, uh, what, this title here, Healthy Eating for Healthy Life. So let's just build a, a course based on this. Uh, or, um, you can select an existing course and create a new one. So let's create a new one, shall we? New course. So what I've done is I've created a new course, but it looks like you can actually use uh, courses that you already have in there, uh, which is interesting. I'll say I want 10 lessons in this course. And here's where we can describe the course. So I would imagine it's probably best to give as much of a detailed description as, as you want here. So uh, this course um, shows you how to eat healthily for an improved well-being. It should work alongside a regular yoga practice. 
something like that. So you probably would have a, a, a more detailed description here. And now let's just create the lessons and see what it does. So this is presumably now communicating with ChatGPT to pass that information and get something back to build these courses from. So it says the 10 lessons have been created. Let's have a look at it. So it's now built as a course. And we can now take a look at this in the builder. So, okay. So what it's done is it's created 10 lessons here, sustaining healthy eating habits, eat, eating out, uh, reading food labels, meal planning, plant-based eating, mindful eating, eating for energy, how to fuel your body for yoga practice. So it has brought in some of the yoga aspect to it, importance of hydration, understanding macronutrients. What I gather from these is that these won't actually contain any content. So what I think it does, and I'll just find that out, is it, it creates the structure of your course and the, the lesson topics, but there's nothing actually in these. You know, you, you're then required to populate these with, with the content, which you could probably still do by going back to ChatGPT manually and, and you know, create some stuff there. But um, yeah, that's how... That's the sort of limit of what this course um, uh, structure builder does here. So, I mean, being honest, it's 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 got promise. It's a, it's a um, you know, it's if you're a course creator, you're probably not going to be doing things in this way. You know, you if you're a, a subject matter expert that that knows a lot about health eating, for example. The first thing you're going to do is not going to be going to ChatGPT to suggest your course structure. That should come from you. You're you're the subject expert. You should be creating these topics. So it might give you some food for thought and sort of a basic structure for you to then build on. But I'm not sure how practical this feature actually is, just from personal uh, kind of uh, my 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 thoughts on it. It, it, it does have um, potential for future development. So it's a good step into um, the water for this and, you know, using AI for course creation and, you know, Lendash might take this a bit further later down the line potentially and, um, you know, expand on what, what you can do here, potentially being able to expand out what is in these topics as well as being able to create the course structure. So, yeah, I mean, I think, um, you yeah, a promising start but let's see where where this goes if you'd like to see some more videos on using open ai and chat gpt for uh, course content and uh, interactive activities check out some of the other videos we've got on our um, youtube channel I've, i'll put a, a card linking to these here um, and you can take a look at some other ways that you can use uh, chat gpt in your learn dash courses if you like this video, if you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.